Hey guys, if you have been following all my video tutorials, congratulations, you've actually learnt the basics of JavaScript and you're ready to go uh, to do other stuff now. Now, what to do next? Now that you've know now that you know HTML, CSS and JavaScript, you can actually create a fully functional website using them. You can create the website bones with HTML, you can customize it with CSS and you can make it dy dynamic and look nice with JavaScript. Now however, there's actually more web languages and uh, libraries and other stuff that you can do now. So what to do next? Uh, I'm going to be creating a couple of uh, videos on other stuff now and once I've done it, I'm going to stick uh, annotation in this uh, what to do next browser window uh, once I've done with it. So what to do next? Now you can either learn CSS3, that is the third version, the newest version of CSS which actually adds more stuff to the CSS itself. With it you can do animations, you can do moving and you can do loads of different stuff. Now you can also do HTML5, that is another HTML that is currently the newest version and with HTML5 you can do, uh, you can actually do like canvas stuff which you can use JavaScript that you learned just now to draw and create animations that's like CSS3 and you can do loads and loads of different stuff. You can even create games and like create fireworks with uh, HTML5 and CSS3. Now what else? Uh, now that you know JavaScript, you can actually start learning jQuery. What jQuery is, is basically uh, app, it's an application library of JavaScript. It's basically JavaScript, but you you can write less. Once you learn uh, jQuery, you can write less and do loads of custom animations. When I, I think I showed you in one of my JavaScript uh, videos, uh, one of the website I created, where if I click on uh, a button, say about, it actually scrolls down at a certain screed, speed to an about page. And also if I click on like a contact me button, it actually pops up this contact form and uh, darkens the surrounding uh, web, surrounding uh, browser. Now those stuff you can learn with jQuery and it makes your website a whole lot cooler. Now what you can also do is start learning PHP. What PHP is, it's basically, uh, it's short for hypertext, uh, PHP hypertext preprocessor, I think, which basically is uh, the server side of programming. Now what you have learnt up until now, HTML, CSS uh, and JavaScript is a client side. It's basically what the client looks at. Now the server side programming like PHP and stuff, Basically, you use it to interact with uh, the server. So, for example, you need PHP and a bit of my SQL to uh, communicate with your database. And with PHP, you can create like a fully functional register logging system. You can create like an image upload system. You can even create like a social networking service like Facebook. And even like stuff like YouTube, although that takes a lot of time. Uh, so I've I've said HTML5, CSS3, jQuery, and uh, PHP, and there's loads of different other stuff that you can do. I'm actually going to be creating a couple of uh, JavaScript uh, projects, like creating a fully functional form or creating a game with JavaScript, or like a simple game with JavaScript, uh, using like buttons and uh, images and like. To make them look like cards and stuff. So that's going to be fun and it's going to make you a lot uh, better at practical JavaScript because up until now it was, basing, it was basically learning bits and bits of JavaScript and you can combine your knowledge and you can do a whole lot of other things. So please look forward to that. So hopefully uh, in my next few days, weeks, months, once I've finished with a lot of my the videos tutorials that I'm planning to do, CSS3, HTML5 and so on, this uh, what to do next browser is going to be full of annotations to link you to all those interesting uh, video series. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.
Oh yeah, there was one thing I forgot to mention. Now that you know JavaScript, you can actually create I native iPhone and Android app using it. Just JavaScript. Uh, I've already uploaded my uh, a couple of videos for my uh, Accelerator Titanium mobile development tutorial, which uses JavaScript to actually create I fully functional iPhone and Android apps. So why don't you actually give it a try there? It's fun.